Hi there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. You're watching TCM, where for the last four hours, we have seen movies anchored by their leading man, one of the signature stars of classic Hollywood, the great Jimmy Stewart. We will continue now with Stewart starring in a 1962 film from 20th Century Fox, Mr. Hobbs Takes a Vacation. Stewart is Mr. Hobbs. He's an exhausted banker, wants nothing more than a relaxing, quiet vacation overseas. Those plans are lost when his wife, played by Maureen O'Hara, instead plans a, a different trip, inviting their extended family to stay with them in a beach house. If it's not already clear to you from that description, I'll spell it out. This is a comedy. Directed by Henry Coster, Mr. Hobbs Takes a Vacation gave Jimmy Stewart a break from a decade of playing emotionally complex characters in films with serious and heavy themes. He had just finished making the 1961 film Two Road Together and The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance from 1962, back-to-back -back westerns from director John Ford, whose sets could be, let's just say, more intense than the atmosphere on a Henry Coster picture. Coster's best-known movie also starred Jimmy Stewart, the 1950 film Harvey, the story of Stewart's relationship with a six-foot-plus imaginary rabbit. There's no scenario where John Ford makes a movie with an imaginary rabbit. Stewart made Mr. Hobbs Takes a Vacation as part of a multi-picture deal with Fox. He followed it up with another Henry Coster film in 1963, the father-daughter comedy Take Her, She's Mine, co-starring Sandra Dee. Jimmy Stewart and Maureen O'Hara became good friends and reunited a few years later at Stewart's request in the 1966 film The Rare Breed. O'Hara recalled working with Stewart in her memoir, saying she enjoyed it, though she candidly admitted that in a Jimmy Stewart picture, every scene revolved around Jimmy Stewart. Here they are together in a 1962 film with a screenplay by Nunnally Johnson. Mr. Hobbs takes a vacation. Despite the light, wholesome atmosphere of Mr. Hobbs takes a vacation, Jimmy Stewart endured personal hardships during the production. His father, with whom Stewart was close, had gotten sick, and Stewart left the set to be with him before he died. Stewart took some time to grieve before returning to finish the film, doing his best not to let his personal life affect his performance. Singer and teen idol Fabian, who played Joe, felt nothing but positivity from Stewart. He later said in an interview with playwright Jack Neary, if anybody's ever blessed, you have to be blessed to work with Jimmy Stewart. Fabian called Stewart the most congenial, helpful person he had ever worked with. The two developed a decades-long friendship after their time working together, and they reunited in the film Dear Brigitte in 1965. Fabian was honored with the Jimmy Stewart Museum's Harvey Award in 2008, presented by the museum in Stewart's hometown of Indiana, Pennsylvania, to entertainers with close ties to the late actor. Coming up, more with Jimmy Stewart. He stars in a film co-written and directed by Billy Wilder. It's a biopic of Charles Lindbergh, The Spirit of St. Louis from 1957, is next on Turner Classic Movies. Next on TCM, The Spirit of St. Louis, then Malaya, and later, It Happened on Fifth Avenue. Trade places with TCM Tonight.